um, in this period of the COVID, COVID, <laughs> I almost, I almost said COVID. COVID. It's all right. It's continue. In this period of COVID nineteen pandemic, um, response to sexual and gender based violations are very important to us. And one of the things that has um, been of serious concern to me was how victims this period are going to assess justice. There's this story all over the internet about um, a female who was battered by Commissioner for Water Resources in Kogi State. And I happen to be here with her now. One very, one, one thing I've been reading a lot online are the people who are saying that the injuries she sustained are photoshopped injuries. So for as much of Photoshop as there is, you know, th there's nothing Photoshop about this. Absolutely nothing. I mean, this is her. Absolutely no, absolutely no Photoshop. There's absolutely no Photoshop. Absolutely no. And these are just a few of the injuries. And please, just very specifically, can you tell me very specifically in, in just as short as possible? Yeah, okay. So we happen to be here with the son who was, you know, who was crying. Well, who was made to watch as his mother was being battered. Now, very briefly, in, you know, what exactly happened? On 29th of March, I was in Okene, Kogi State. I made a post about the Honorable Commissioner of Water Resources. What's his name? Abdul Mumin Danga is his name. I was trying to talk about him helping his little sister um, DC Adokelish by name on Facebook Umi, her real name that he should help her, his family that charity begins at home because he happened to be distributing some things during the COVID, this COVID period so what, distributing what? noodles 